So this is the actual meaning of this verse. It's not been, even there's a whole line added in English to that verse, which is nowhere in the Bengali. A whole line was just added by some translator, I don't know whom, but it's in the, the some BBD books. It says, it is not, and it says right there in the verse, it's not in the verse at all. There's no word, or, no one will ever translate like that, nor is it tr that word or concept in the Nectar Devotion. But it says, uh, Krishna, I think it says in BBT, it says, Krishna Prema is eternally, he's eternally situated inside the heart of the jiva. It is not to be, it is not to be gained from any outside source. Yeah, yeah. Like that. that line has just been inter interjected by the, whoever translated that. Yeah, it's simply by hearing and chanting it automatically Udai arises. But the word Udai means manifest, appears, just like we say the sun rises, the sun's not actually rising. We say Maya Chandra Udai, because that's in Hindi, that's, Udai means rising. It says in the, in the Panchang, it says Udai and Ast. We say in English, sunrise and sunset. Udai and Ast. So you look at a Hindi you know, calendar. What time, what, Surya Udai, it says in Hindi, six, uh, 5.55 or whatever, 5.45. So it's rising. It, to, uh, we think it's rising, but it's actually appearing. The sun is not dead, or it's not sun, it hasn't sunk. The earth is rotating this way around the sun, and it, the sun is there 24-7. And we, we're just moving 25,000 miles an hour or something. The earth is a fat, small planet moving very fast. So every 12, you know, 12 hours or 24 hours, we, we see what we call sunrise. And 12 hours later, sunset, roughly 12, 10, 12, whatever, around in India. So, so we say, oh, Udai, it's not, it's appearing. So that's why in Sanskrit, the word Udai means appears, mm -hmm. arises. So when you, if you just tweak the translation slightly one way, or just one verb, you tweak it one way or the other way, you get a completely different conception. Well, rising means it's, it's, it's like I'm sleeping in my bed and I rise from my bed. So I'm, I'm fully existing in my bed. Then I stand up, now I'm, 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 hard, I'm, you know, I'm standing and not lying, you know. So the son, of, the son of Prem is just lying in my heart and one day he just stands up and says, Hi, here I am. I'm sorry, this is not the teaching of the six Goswamis, not the teaching of the eight Goswamis. Lokanath Goswami or Krishnath Kaviraj were the seventh and eighth Goswami, and not the teachings of Naratam. So, so this we should understand clearly what is the Tattva Siddhanta.